your food, everything you got. We're taking a video. It looks like she's going to miss you. Yeah, who 
have to remain curious and learn, you know, and uh, you have to strive to achieve higher heights and embrace change. Do not be afraid of trying and failing, because failure is success, what you learn from it. So you just keep on trying, keep on working hard, and at the end of the day, you know, the top of your spot. But understand that there's no elevator to success. You have to take these steps one at a time. And if each step you take in life, you learn something from it. And when you get to the top, then you become an effective leader. So that's what it's all about. And also be kind. When you walk through the doors of success, don't shut it down. Reach over and grab somebody else. Mentor somebody. Help somebody. Be kind to somebody. And then at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with whatever you have. It is not about how much you have. It's how blessed is what you have. And in order to be blessed, you have to bless others. Because it's always about giving. So congratulations, and we wish you guys all the best. And we know that at the end of the day, you guys are going to do bigger and uh, better things down the line. So once again, congratulations. Thank you. But your dad would want you to, to make sure, like, I would kind of say, to be a kind person. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Take your time. Take your time. It's okay. Like, I would always say, be good to people. It means nothing if you don't push back to somebody. If you don't lie. If you don't share lies. It means absolutely nothing. You're not doing it for this yourself. Your dad is always a person that is more than money. Anything you earn. Don't let your peers, you got the African children, that we hear around American kids, don't let your peers make you think, forget who you are and where you come from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be proud, be leaders amongst your friends. You young men, you guys are a crazy generation. Y'all generation is crazier than mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you guys need to be, have discernment, you have to be careful. Talk to your parents, talk to your brothers, talk to your aunties, talk to your uncles. Mm -hmm. For guidance, don't be afraid to. Find someone you can seek comfort in, because it's not easy. There's no one going to be in college to say, get up, go to class, go study, don't do this, don't follow these people when they're doing that. You guys right now being able to make that decision. And like you were saying, one make, one make up can put you back really far. It's not to say you can't get up and do it again, but you can definitely avoid that and get even ahead. I think I may just want to add to it is just thank you so very much because just like all of you have said and this is here and this is to all of you is to prioritize your prayers try to pray five times a day as much as you can make Allah your friend to talk to him all the time because life is full of challenges but we've gone through a little part already and achieved a very very good goal we're all very proud of you Continue that path and talk to your parents, talk to your aunts, your cousins. You can choose your friends, but choose them wisely. Because they can mislead you. Choose friends that have similar values as you. If you come across a friend that you know is doing something that's not right and is totally different from what you've been taught at home, find a nice way to just stay away from the friend and try to pick another one. Even if it makes not having any friends. I know in your generation it's like it's a must. You just have a friend, but pick the right friend. And again, like I said, just pray, pray, pray. God will always be there to help you. Okay? Good luck. What do you want to uh, study in college? Uh, computer engineering? Good. What about you, Sissi? What do you want to be? Sociology? Oh, wow. Very good. And what about Modibo? What about Modibo? What about Modibo? Huh? You want to be an artist? Kind of artist. Kind of, uh, graphical designer and concept uh, artist. So, you know, Sissy, you, Modi, and Suleiman. 
Mr. Suleiman wants to be an engineer, right? You want to be an engineer? Good. DK said it today. He, he mentioned it. DK, what did you say about you want consistency, right? Consistency. That's the one. And discipline. This one takes him and I, Uncle DK, were talking today. All you guys, you want to be an engineer, you want to be an artist, you want to be a kinesiologist? Occupational therapy. Discipline. Consistency. That's the only thing that's going to get you guys here. If you're going to fail along the way, don't think it's going to be a straight line. Alright, you look at Uncle DK, you look at your dad, you have a good example of your dad, Uncle Lemon, you look at all your aunties sitting here, it was not easy. Alright, so why am I saying this? Because your generation, unfortunately, you think that it's, straight, it's going to be a straight line. It's never a straight line. Right, it's going to be bumped. He calls me Abu. He, he sends me a text, by the way. For Suleiman. For Suleiman. Yeah, he always say, hey, Uncle, I want to do this. I can you help me with this? So it's like I'm, it's like a, I'm a mentor to him. Yes. Like, right? So you, you do the same, Sissy. Pick one of your aunties to be your mentors. Right? That way, if you guys don't, you are not alone. Right? Same thing with Modi. Right? Pick somebody from the community to be your mentor. They've all done it. We've done it. Right? So that's why I wanted to say so. Uh, let me be not. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. These kids now, I look at them like my children. And Khadija, she always calls me and check on me, you know, we can always talk. I always tell them that. Now, Sissy, Sissy doesn't say much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a bad thing, but sometimes you just talk when you need to. You can't it's just go over your mouth or, you know, all the time. Um, but life again, you know, um, we started here some of us 20, 30 years ago, trying to build something. And this is the food spot later. The work that we put in, we transfer to our kids. Before you know it, we have grandkids. We're gonna keep moving. Um, look at you now going to, going to college. Your, your father's gonna be extremely proud of who you are. Um, he's not here, but we're still here. Um, we'll always be here to guide and support and just, just show up. We don't, we don't have to um, just go over the moon. Just our presence goes a long way. And I'm sure he's here spiritually. And then um, and, and he would love nothing more than just us being in your life. And um, I'm so proud that you go over to Sam Houston. You know, uh -huh. go hang out with Ami. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. she's going to be a sophomore. She took classes to where she's going to be.
I'm your father, and I'm happy that I can make it. So and I'll continue to be around in your life as long as you let me. Um, I'm, I ain't going to know. So, so, yeah, and I know that's what you know, the family would want me to do. So I'm just going to do it. Yes. 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 And before we before we start the prayer, I think we just want to say thank you for the host. Um, you know, our food was all delicious. We all enjoyed ourselves. And uh, thanks for you both you and Ma and Awa for being there for CC and for hosting us for this wonderful graduation celebration. Okay? Peace be upon you.
Dora, c'est pas pas du bon. 